As I'm sure you know, if you play Roller Coaster Tycoon, in the first and second game, you have um, an option to put two custom songs in the game. Let's build a ride and demonstrate just that. Uh, let's build this one. Why not? So you open the ride, and you click play music. Oh, it's wonderful. But then you can import your own two songs. So right here, this is an Arrogant Sons of Bitches song. It's called Fuck You. Um, this song... It's a They Might Be Giant song called Snowball in Hell. But it's live, so it's fancy. I'm gonna pause that for a second. We're gonna select one of these songs here. Rock Style 3. There's something a bit fancy about this here file. It's because it is not Rock Style 3. What? Just check it out. How could this be? I thought only two custom music files were supported. Well, you're not entirely wrong. Basically, what I did is replace an audio file in the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 program files data folder. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here you have your Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 data folder. I'm using the Triple Thrill Pack, um, the good old games release, and I'm also using OpenRCT2. So I'm not entirely sure if this will work on every single version of Roller Coaster 2. It really should, and it might also work in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, because the music system in that game is very similar to this. So you have all of these .dat files in your program folder here, and if you click on them, You can play them if you have them set to a media player that can handle uh, funky wave files, because that's all these data files really are, are funky wave files. In Media Player Classic, if we right click on here and click Properties, we can see, you guessed it, all the properties of the file. And if you go to Media Info, you can see the format right here is a wave file. So basically, uncompressed audio. So the custom song options are actually wave files. Uh, you don't have to dabble in changing the file type. As long as they're wave, they'll play. And take note of... Well, I'll just open this for a second. Take note of the bit rate and the sampling rate right here. The bit rate being 705 kilobits a second and the sampling rate being 22.05 kilohertz and it's 16-bit. Like I said before, it's the same process for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 except instead of 16 bits, it's 8 bits. So here we go. Now there are two ways to do this, and both are pretty simple. One's just a little bit faster than the other, and I'll show both. We're gonna pick a song right here. A classic They Might Be Giant song, Dr. Worm. As you can see, that's the song. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Audacity and just drag the song into there. Now you're going to want to change the project rate right here at the bottom, click that and set it to 22,050 hertz. And that's pretty much it. You can save it as it is. You just go to File, Export Audio, and make sure the save as type is set to Wave Sign 16-bit PCM. That's uncompressed audio. Save that. Now for this bit here when it says Edit Metadata, you want to clear that. If it has any other, like, extra information in the file, uh, from what I've seen, it won't open the game. So, you don't want that. So now we're going to check out the file we just created. It's right over here, so we'll double-click that, open it up, and look at the properties of the files. You can see uh, 22 kilohertz over here, 705 kilobits a second, and as you can see, the format is WAVE. So, what we want to do from this point on, you want to go back to your data folder in your Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 directory um, and just pick any song you want to replace. So what's this? This is like a snow and ice theme. That's very dreary. It's not a very fun song. So uh, keep in mind the file name here that is css38.dat. So we're just going to go back to our desktop and rename this file css38.dat. Oops. Now, as you can see, it still has the wave header at the end, but you can just rename the file again, take that part out, and hit enter. 
Now it's going to be like, oh, the file might become unusable, but in this case you don't need to worry about that since it'll still be recognized by the game itself. So you click yes, go into data folder and delete the file you're replacing. I would highly recommend backing up your data folder just in case you mess something up, you can always revert back to the way it was before you started. But we're just going to take this file and drag it into the data folder. And it should work just like that. I'm going to show you the other way I mentioned earlier as well. We're going to pick a random song here, Rivers Cuomo. We're going to use uh, DB Power Amp. It's a music converter software that I like a lot. Um, we're going to select Wave in the Converting to window, and we're going to set you know 16 bit, 22 kilohertz, and stereo. And we're going to save it to the desktop once again. Everything's a bit more straightforward in DB Power Amp than Audacity, but they both pretty much do the exact same thing. Now, uh, like we did with Audacity, we want to get rid of the metadata, and if you have DB Power Amp, you will have all of these uh, little context windows within a right-click thing. You want to go to Edit ID Tag, you just want to clear everything. So right now we're going to change another song as well. Let's see what this is. Okay, that's the Egyptian theme. That's CSS22. Whoops. Go back to the desktop and rename this CSS22. Just get rid of the wave format there. Delete this over here. Now we just drag and drop it back in. Alright, so we're going to open up Roller Coaster 2 again. Just give it a minute. Okay, so here we are. We're just going to build a random ride. Whatever ride, it doesn't matter. Build a path there so it doesn't yell at us that there's no path leading from the exit. Just going to open this up and select the music. Now remember, from the beginning of the video, first custom music file, second custom music file, third custom music file, and now we're going to try and find the ones we just made earlier. So, I believe the Egyptian style was the last one I changed, so... Works like a charm, let's find the other one. And as you can see, it works just like that. So, in case you've ever wanted to add more than just two custom songs to Roller Coaster Tycoon, this is how you do it. I'm not responsible for any programs you might mess up in the process of doing this. This is just for fun. But like I said, if you back up your music file, then this really shouldn't be a problem for you. Peace out. Also, I just realized this is like the first semi-useful video I've made in probably over a year.